This free step-by-step -step video comes to you directly from Haynes. You can complete more than 200 jobs on this vehicle when you purchase the complete Haynes online manual at haynes.com. Open the driver's door and pull the bonnet release lever. Depress the safety catch and open the bonnet. Unscrew the cap from the coolant expansion tank. Fully apply the handbrake. Position the jack head under the reinforced section of the door sill flange and raise the vehicle until the wheel is clear of the ground. Support the vehicle with an axle stand under the reinforced section of the sill flange. The engine under tray is secured by various fasteners around its circumference. Undo the fasteners, disengage the front edge and remove the under tray from beneath the vehicle. Place a suitable container beneath the right hand end of the radiator. Release the clamp, disconnect the bottom hose from the radiator and allow the coolant to drain into the container. It may be necessary to hold the bottom hose down to drain the contents. To fully drain the system, remove the intake duct cover, lift out the intake hose and unclip the duct. Unclip the air hose from the base of the air cleaner housing. Release the wiring loom from the retaining clip and slide the loom bracket from the bracket. Reposition the container, slacken the clamp, then disconnect the heater hose from the oil cooler and allow the coolant to drain. Remove the container from beneath the vehicle. Reconnect the radiator bottom hose and secure it with the clamp. Where applicable, reconnect the heater hose and securely refit the clamp. Clip the wiring loom back into place, then reconnect the air intake hose and refit the intake duct and cover. Maneuver the under tray into place and engage the front edge, noting how some of the tangs fit above the front shield and some fit below. Refit the various fasteners and tighten them securely. Lower the vehicle to the ground. Slowly fill the system with the coolant. Continue to fill the cooling system until bubbles stop appearing in the expansion tank. Help to bleed the air from the system by repeatedly squeezing the radiator bottom hose. When no more bubbles appear, top the coolant level up to the max level mark, then securely refit the cap to the expansion tank. Run the engine at a fast idle speed until the cooling fan cuts in. Wait for the fan to stop, then switch the engine off and allow the engine to cool. When the engine has cooled, check and if necessary, top up the coolant level. Firmly lower the bonnet to engage the catch, then check it's securely closed.